Hello and welcome to another episode of Advanced WordPress Theme Development. In the previous video we learned about how, how to show the related terms for these posts which we are displaying here now and in this video we are going to talk about how to add the pagination because currently we are only showing 10 posts over here and we want to be able to navigate to the next page. Okay, So there are two ways to do it. First is having just the prev and next uh, navigation links. To be honest, I'm not really a big fan of that because if you have like 10,000 posts, um, I won't expect the user to keep clicking on next, next, next in order for uh, him or her to go on to uh, some pages in the, in the middle. I want to give them a flexibility to click on a page number as well. Like if they always, if they want to come back to a particular page they were originally on, for example, they went on a third page and they want to come back to the third page again, they can just hit num you know that three okay great so still I will go ahead and tell you about both these options and whichever suits for you you can go with that so the way you do it is that you go to your WordPress D loop wherever your D loop is so I'll go to my theme Aquila and I'll go to my index.php and this is where I am running my WordPress D loop so you just need to come outside of this if half posts and then we're going to actually create a custom function for this Aquila pagination y you if you don't want to create one it's fine and we'll call this function here and then we will also call it inside of the single dot PHP which we discussed earlier okay so we'll call inside of this Aquila pagination okay and then we'll go to our template we'll go to our includes folder inside of helpers and inside of template tags and we'll create a function called Aquila pagination okay so inside of this function uh, first we will do the previous and next so there's a function available in WordPress called previous post link and next post link so I'll just use that for now the different parameters you can pass in this like the format uh, the title what do you want to pass uh, in terms of taxonomy etc but I'll just stick to the basics for now you can check more options if you need it next post link okay now if you go back to your blog and if you refresh there you go so you've got your previous and the next of course they look very close to each other because I haven't styled them but you get the idea you do an inspect element I just want to show it to you you can see this is your previous link uh, which is your blog post and this is your next one right so you can click on this it takes you to the new PWA Gatsby WordPress theme this is my single post and of course I don't have the option of the preven next on this so let's go ahead and add that so I think I can just add this go to my single dot PHP which is my for my post single page for my post and I just add the previous post link and next post link okay and I refresh and there you go I have the this available of course we can style it and this should actually go inside of the container so where's my container this is my container and it should go inside of the container and then for pagination I'll just open another container and then open PHP tag and just paste this previous post link and next post link over here and that should do the trick there you go so I have the next and the previous ones so I can click on this it takes me to the next page and so on and so forth okay awesome so this is the previous and the next link now what we want to do is we want to use the pagination with page numbers so how do we do that so in WordPress we have something available called paginate links okay so I'm going to delete this and what I'm going to do is I'll say printf and then I'm going to put a nav tag okay inside of nav tag 
I'm going to give it a class of Aquila pagination clear fix and then inside of this I'm going to say percentage s and this is where I'm going to insert my pagination so basically what we're doing is we are wrapping the actual pagination into our custom nav tag and then I'm going to say WP kisses okay so that it goes ahead and escapes the HTML and also makes sure only allowed tags are available and strips out rest of them and then we'll call this function called paginate links inside of it and we'll just pass the arguments which we will just create in a moment arguments and then we also pass the allowed tag again which we will create in a moment allowed tags so there are two variables we need to create one is the argument and second is the allowed tags because paginate links function takes arguments so this will be an array which we will deal with in a moment and then we'll have the allowed tags as well which probably we can add them on top allowed tags equals array okay so let's take a look paginate links let's find the definition and it takes different arguments which I will show you in a moment but you can find the definition here and it does all the pagination work for you which you don't have to handle on your own so in allowed tags we can have span and then class array okay this so allowed tag it should have class and then it should also have in allowed tag it should have span and then class attribute and then for a tag should have class attribute that should be allowed and it should also allow hrf so it's going to strip off any other things that are not within the allowed tags, the attributes and the HTML tags. In arguments, we have option to put before page number. And then we also have an option to put after page number. So in before page number, we can put a span tag. We can give it a class of btn border and then border secondary I want to give it a margin right of 20 pixels and, ma and margin bottom of 20 pixels so this will be previous before the page number this is this uh, HTML will be inserted and there will be a closing tag as well okay awesome so what will happen is uh, this function is going to print the paginate links whatever is returned by the paginate link wordpress function and it's going to wrap it inside of nav tag and inside of paginate links because we are you know calling the wp kisses function is only going to use these allowed tags and going to strip off any other html or script tags so for security and then also before the page number is going to uh, add this opening span tag and after page number is going to wrap it is going to add the closing span tag so let's take a look let's refresh and congratulations you can see that you have your pagination ready to use brilliant and I can click on the page number two and now I have previous and next options available as well page three I'm on the page three now I have previous and next option available now if you're wondering why is this not being highlighted because we have to add the CSS for it so let's go ahead and add the CSS for it so I'm not going to spend time in explaining the CSS but uh, I will tell you in, in brief so what we're doing is that when you have the current class available once you are on that particular page and I'm just saying that change the background color uh, and the color of that element as well so now if you refresh you can see they've got page number three so we are currently on the page number three if you inspect element you'll notice that it's using the nav tag with the aquila pagination which is this inside of it it's using the a tag which is coming by the paginate links 
and then wrap, it's also wrapping the page numbers within the span with this class name that you see over here right so same class name so these are being added and the one which is current it's it's having a class so page number three is having current class and that's what we are using to go ahead and add style to it so we've added a background color and the color for that great awesome you can go on the page number four and that works first so I have to, I have taught you both ways of doing the pagination you can do with just previous and uh, previous and next link and you can also do it with the page numbers as well okay so we have the just the previous and next page link onto our single page and on the block page we have the page number with previous and next link awesome great so I hope you did like the video if you did please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already if you like my work please follow me on github my github handle is Imran H. Sayed and uh, please start my repository to support my work and follow me on twitter as well my twitter handle is Coditech. awesome great so I'll see you in the next video until then bye bye mm -hmm.